Hi boys and girls, welcome to Learning with Mrs. Ferrari's YouTube channel where I believe that every boy and girl can learn. My aim is to inspire you to be the best you can. Hi grade 6 boys and girls. Today we continue to look at the grade 6 pep ability test and the category of questions we are looking at today is artificial language. Now, what is artificial language? Artificial language is nonsense words and their English word meanings. So when we talk about nonsense words, we are talking about a group of letters that come together, but they make absolutely no sense. And so they would give you the meaning of that nonsense word in English. Now, the key thing is to look for rules and patterns in the nonsense words and the given English words. Then you are going to use the information to translate the given English word into an artificial language. Okay, grade six boys and girls, let's practice some of the artificial language questions. So here's the question. Here are some words translated from an artificial language. So these are the artificial language here. So they are made up words, they are not real, right? We could actually call them nonsense words, right? So we have this one means workforce, this one means groundwork, and this one means workplace. Now remember, when we're answering artificial language questions, we are looking for pattern and rules, guys. So let's look at the words here. So let's look at the words in English. We have workforce, groundwork, workplace. Are we seeing any pattern in the words in English? We are seeing that some of the words have work at the beginning. So all of them have the word work, but two Two of the words have it in the beginning and one has it at the end. So that's important for us to note. So when we look at the artificial language, let's see if we're seeing any pattern in the beginning of the first and last word. Yes, we're seeing K-R-E-K-I-N, K-R-E-K-I-N, and then we're seeing K-R-E-K-I-N at the end. So we can say that the word work in artificial language is actually k-r-e-k-i-n all right so the key is to look for the pattern and then try to figure out what the word means in the artificial language so so far we know that work means k-r-e-k-i-n in the artificial language now, the, the question that we have here says which word could mean some place. So, we don't know what some is. We're not seeing any English word with some in it, but we're seeing place. So, if we know that K-R-E-K-I-N is work, we figure out then that place would be A-L-T-I. A-L-T-I. So let's change the color so that we don't mix it up. All right, guys. So we have the clue that place is A-L-T-I. And in this word, place is at the end of the word. So let's look at the choices. So we have A, B, C, D. And let's look at the, see if we find the answer with A-L-T-I. Okay, so for this one, we have two words with A-L-T-I. So now we have to figure out which one is the correct one based on the clues that we have. All right, so we have M-O-R-O-P here. Do we have any M-O-R-O-P in any of these artificial words up here? No. Do we have D-R-I-T-A in any of the artificial words here? Yes, we do. So D-R-I-T-A would mean ground. 
So we definitely know that D is not the answer because this would be ground place and we want some place. So the best option for us to select is actually A. A would be our answer because it has A-L-T-I which means place and we are not sure what sum it is but based on the options or the choices given, this would be our best response given that we know that A-L-T-I means place and we have eliminated D. So A is our answer. Okay, let's practice another question. Here are some words translated from an artificial language. So we have this nonsense word here means food cake. This artificial word, so you'll hear me say nonsense word or, or artificial word means cakewalk. This one here means buttercup. Which word could mean cupcake? All right, so we have the clues here. So let's look for patterns or rules that we need to pay attention to. So for fruit cake, cakewalk, buttercup. So we see that we have two of the words with cake. So this one is at the end of the word and this one is at the beginning. So that gives us a good clue, right guys? So at the beginning for this one and at the end for this one. So at the end, we're seeing P-A-K-I, P-A-K-I. So we can safely say that P-A-K-I in this artificial language means cake. All right, so here we have butter cup. So, and the cup is at the end, but we're not sure which letters. But we know that some of these letters, we'll soon figure out which, which of these letters would mean cup. But based on the clue that we have, we have P-A-K-I for cake. So as we look at our options, we're looking for the one with P-A-K-I at the end and then so we know that that's cake and we can safely say that this is the answer based on on the information that we have and then we can also look now and see where this word here buttercup it has in a l a n and this one also has in a l a n so we can figure out that a l a n is so here we have cupcake. So our answer is definitely D. Thanks for watching this video. Remember, you can contact me at learningwithmrsferrari at gmail.com or you can WhatsApp me at 876-774-1930. Remember to subscribe to my channel and like and share the video.